confident, vibrant, and quirky with an edge. This is 10 Minutes with Tiffany J. Minutes with Tiffany J features the inside scoop as she juggles the world around her, a nine to five, along with a handful of gifts and talents that will blow your mind. All things Tiffany J on her website at MissTiffanyJ.com. Now, let's get into the show. That was another edition of 10 Minutes with Tiffany J. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I know I did. Now you can get more episodes on my website at www.misstiffanyj.com. But don't stop there. Hop on over to the music tab and check out your favorite Tiffany J record, starting with my latest singles, Work For It and Call Me, which is on all digital platforms. Also with a bomb video showcase on YouTube featuring the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. Good morning. Ooh. I think that was off. Let me try it again. Good morning. Ooh. That was off too. You know what? Forget it. All right. I'm here. <laughs> it's a great morning. It's 844, August 9th, Tuesday, 2022, in the year of our Lord or oh, the star date. And I'm headed to work. I have a lot of energy. Now, typically, I'm going to tell you something about me. All right. My allergies be acting up, so I get some Benadryl or some allergy medicine similar to Benadryl, and it really just mellows me out. Um, and I get the one that makes you sleepy, but I, I can operate on it, and it, like I said, it mellows me out, and I really just be real chill, and it puts me in a nice space. But I didn't take any last night, I just went to sleep after all of my activities yesterday, and now I'm up, ah, you know? So, what I find is... When y'all see me like singing and dancing, I'll be at like sometimes 100% natural high of whatever it is. And that's kind of where I'm at now. Now, I do need to get something to eat at some point. And I'm excited for my weekends coming up Thursday and Friday. That's my weekend. So technically, today as a Tuesday is my Thursday and tomorrow is my Friday. So I'm really excited. Plus, I stayed late on Sundays so I get to leave early for one of these days. Yeah, but everything's been flowing. And the other thing that's been going really, really good is my level of peace that I've been having at my job. And what I mean by that is I feel like with with peace and love, you're not easily irritated. And that's something that I've been trying to focus on. I feel like something, um, something that stirs or something that's been in my family is like a spirit of anger. And I don't know if anyone knows why we're angry, but it's an anger and a frustration. Um, I'll be digging into that all the more so that I can pinpoint it when I see it, when I feel it, and address it, and then get rid of it. But I've been noticing that. Now, for me, the way it attacks me is when I'm focused or when I'm in my zone or in mode, like when I'm doing a thing, and someone interrupts me or pulls me out of that mode, I get very irritated. And I don't necessarily like that because the person who interrupted me has no idea where I am, but they don't deserve my anger or my irritation. So at my job, I've been focusing on when people, ir- you know, when irritate when, you, when people interrupt me is what I meant to say from whatever I'm doing. I need to know that I'm here to provide a service even still. So I get to a place in my mind where I'm going to finish this task. Remember the task where I last left off, write it down if I need to, tell the person, give me one second, and then I'll be out. And then all my attention is on them. In addition to doing that, I'm learning to try to switch and actually live in the present versus the past or the future. But constantly living in the present moment, knowing that that moment too that I have with them is like none other and will never get that back again. And that God brought that person directly to me for a specific reason. Not only to serve them, but to bestow or to give the essence that he has within me to them. Right? 
So I take that, I'm taking that very seriously because I know that everything is not a coincidence and I have to be mindful of that, right? And so that I take each moment, it could be, it could be, I'm on assignment. Well, I know we, we all are, but I could be on assignment. Someone could be, you know, walking up to me that day and um, if they need a kind word, if they need an encouragement or whatever it is. Segwaying to say that I'm also trying to listen more to whatever I feel that God is telling me. Um, something as simple as I remember I was in dance and then he told me to give somebody a hug. He was like, Go give her a hug. She needs a hug. And I was like, right now though? Yeah, give her a hug. Like, but right now though? Yes, give her a hug. Okay, 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 okay. So I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. And I went over there and I just came from behind her and I squeezed her really hard and she didn't know it was me. And um, I was like, yeah, he told me to give you a hug. And she was like, oh, thank you. I really, really needed it. And then I was about to walk away and she pulled me back again and hugged me again. And I was like, yeah, she needed it. And I needed it too. I think the... The, the second hug was the reassurance that was like she really needed that hug and she wants to hug you again sometimes people love like they love differently some people love with their words some people love with their their like physical touch some people love with just an acknowledgement some people love with gifts or you know whatever it is the way that they love and that's what it was God was saying she needs somebody to love her right now can you love her and I did so trying to listen more to that now I know I can't go around hugging a whole bunch of people that I don't know but even if it's just to acknowledge the fact that you exist that you're there that's also special and important too so I'm excited really about nothing <laughs> I was trying to figure out what am I excited about really nothing I'm just happy to be alive happy to be awake and I've already spoken to one, two, three, maybe three, three people this morning, early in the morning. I'm also doing this thing where I'm trying to figure out how many interactions do I have on a daily basis and on a weekly basis in real life and then also online and then try to figure out, okay, what do I need to do? before I start my day when I go to sleep to make sure that I am present to make sure that I am full and that I am prepared to I don't want to say fight but some days we are fighting against principalities energy spiritual warfare all of that stuff we're, we're, we're fighting and we're engaging in a lot and I want to be in the right state of mind so that I can do what I need to do whatever I'm called to do for that day so I know Sunday I, I did a tally and I remember, I think I ended the day with 30 interactions um, throughout my day. I don't know how many, you know, other people have. I know some people, they may go to their office. I know some people, they're teachers and they have at least, you know, 20 to 30 students in their class. That's a lot to deal with, right? And so with those, you may realize that you're depleted at the end of the day. I know sometimes I am. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do so that I can be present, not only during my work day, but also when I get home. I don't have any kids, but I know some people, you know, after they go through their job, they go back to their families and they still have to give to their kids. And that's a lot. That is a lot. And when you're into that, like when you're already in a routine in that headspace, you get it like you, you get it. I'm not there with a lot of things and I know for me like when I have major changes in my life well not even major subtle changes something as simple as one of my friends she wanted me to dog sit her dogs for the week so she could go um, spend time with her family because someone had passed right something as simple as that changes my whole just everything that's going on and I want to be able to be so planted in my personal routine that I don't get so thrown off or I can at least still be present throughout the day and say I'm ready to work I'm here to serve because that's really what it's about serving on a daily basis also serving when you get back home to your families if you're a significant other a spouse a mom somebody like that I think it's maybe easier for you to be in that mindset but when you're a single individual and you 
go to your families, like when I go to see my mom and my grandma and my sister and the kids and everybody, I, I ask myself, how am I being of service in this situation? How am I helping? So that's something that I'm evolving into on a daily basis and trying to master. Remember this year, if you don't remember, and February 13th, this year is about mindfulness and living in the moment. And I've had my fair share of living in the moment. <laughs> Some of the moments I don't want to repeat or do again, but they were great. Um, I lived and I learned. That's all I can say. So I have another 15 minutes. I hate the fact that I'm late when I'm late to work, but it's cool. Another 15 minutes uh, on this journey to my job. And uh, it's just, I'm just, I'm excited to talk to you guys. I'm so excited that you're listening. I'm going to try to do more of these. I do them as spur of the moment and when I'm really, really ready. Um, as you know, you know, the whole death and everything kind of threw things off, but I'm still here. I'm still here. All right. Thank you and take care. All right, y'all. This is for the few people that I rock with. And if you want to connect with any of them for their expertise and their craft, hit me up so that I can link you. First, I want to shout out my indie label, 646 Entertainment Group. It's a one-stop shop for the ultimate music experience. Artist development, engineering, road management, business awareness on how to properly release your songs, get royalties, and more. Next, I want to shout out No Gossip Just Talk with Tanisha and Mitra, who inspired me to step outside of my comfort zone and start this podcast. I pop up every now and then with a topic, and we have a blast with Girl Talk 101. Special attention needs to be drawn to my boy, Serian, for answering my prayers and becoming a part of my journey musically and beyond. More to come as life unfolds. I'll save some for later. Now, my jewel, no pun intended, is my accountability partner who has like the exact same mind as me. When we link, things happen in the atmosphere. I am so glad we crossed paths. Angel, my love, you are an inspiration. Dance fitness is a lifestyle, and you do it with such ease. If anyone wants to be fit, curvy, wavy, let me know. We can get our dance craze on with Angel. She's also one of the guests of No Gossip Just Talk, so make sure you check her out there. Last but not least for now, the Purple Charlotte Steppers Club, which embodies an entire dance community of some of the best people I've met on the planet. You'll see me live there Thursday at 6.30 on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram with the Purple Thursday Experience. Now, if you listening to this need ad space and want to join the platform, DM me and we'll discuss membership so that we can get your business out there. Reserve your spot as next with Purple Charlotte Steppers Club. You all take care. What's up, Dance World? This your boy, Herschel KG. This beautiful lady is... I'm Tiffany J. If you missed out last week, you do not want to miss out this week because last week was lit. Amazing. So, if you want to be in the building, make sure you go to purplecharlotte.com. Reserve your spot. Yeah. Okay? And if you can't make it, it's all right because you can go to Purple Charlotte Steppers Club on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And do what? Join us live. 6.30 on Thursdays. We'll see you there, okay? We your host, Tiffany J. Herschel KG. Mm. Deuces. We'll see you there. Hey, look, before you wax, girl, I'm down for whatever, uh You ain't gotta say it, I know I do it better, huh Loving you like ain't nobody out on my level up I'ma give it to you like it's now or it's never, uh Hey, come over, baby, let me do something I know you need this escape, boy mm-hmm. I'm in love with you all day by my side You got my heart out 